tonight, Mid-South doctors shared a mix of concern and optimism of the possible impact of Omicron's spread in our area. Brad Broders is live in Memphis's medical district. Good evening, Brad. What are the local experts predicting? Well, good evening, Danielle. One area expert this afternoon predicted there will be a uptick in new cases linked to Omicron in the coming weeks here in this area. However, that doctor said because of the amount of people vaccinated or partially immune, he's hopeful that potential surge of new cases won't lead to a surge in hospitalizations and again overwhelm the area's healthcare system as it did during the Delta surge this past summer. Now, Baptist infectious disease specialist Dr. Michael Threlkeld said this afternoon the the Omicron variant is already spreading fast in the United Kingdom and New York City, seemingly at a faster rate than the original strain or Delta variant. It's also not fully known the impact of the variants on those unvaccinated, especially the elderly or immunocompromised. That's the bad news. The good news, Dr. Thorokeld said, while Omicron can infect those fully vaccinated, known as breakthrough cases, the vast majority so far reported milder symptoms. That included a little shortness of breath and a cough off, but mainly on par with a common cold. That's why doctors urge those who haven't to get vaccinated and or boosted for protection. We're still seeing substantial protection from ending up in the ICU or being seriously ill enough to have to go to the hospital. So even though it may not be perfect at preventing infection, it does seem to be still fairly effective in preventing serious illness. Also, as of today, the Shelby County Health Department reported the number of confirmed Omicron cases in Shelby County remained at 31. And though while it's not officially known the full impact of Omicron in our area hospitals with current COVID patients, those in both the Baptist and Methodist systems reported a significant uptick in new COVID patients in recent days, including the highest amount of new overnight admissions in the Methodist system since October 5th. Live in Memphis's Medical District, I'm Brian Broders reporting.